Feels like I've been talking a lot of handbags lately. Let's go check out some beautiful sparkly jewelry. Welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'm checking out Tiffany & Co. Now I usually spend more time talking about handbags in this channel um, but for today I thought I'll do a change of pace because I'm heading over to the store to get some jewelry clean. I just want to bring you along and do some shopping and also um, show you the process of how to get your jewelry clean for free at Tiffany & Co. So here I'm just browsing around in the store like always if you like the content on this channel i just want to remind you please consider giving this video a thumbs up i'm subscribing to the channel it really help a lot thank you so much for considering and for those of you who are already subscribers on the channel thank you so much on journey joining me on this journey for all the all things for the love of handbags and fashion and jewelry at this point i guess so i really love to have like a nice piece of jewelry to kind of decorate and um, add a little bit of sparkle to an outfit sometimes besides just handbags so um, I think Tiffany & Co is a well-known brand with a very well-known history so it's been one that I constantly are eyeing for I do have a couple pieces on my own and I bring them regularly to the Tiffany store to clean one thing that people may not know is that um, they do complimentary cleaning for the jewelry that you purchase at the store and it not necessarily has to be the store that you purchase it from it can be any store anywhere in the world it typically takes around maybe four business days they you have to leave down your contact number and your information and then they give you a receipt and you can go pick it up like in four days time but generally they don't contact a specific individual and remind them so i figure while i'm getting my jewelry queen i'll do a little bit of shopping and show you around the store to be honest i do find a it a little intimidating when i'm visiting a tiffany store there's always someone following you around there aren't a lot of people in the store and everything is in glass casing i feel like i am constantly being monitored starting from just getting through the front door and having security just taking a glance over you it just makes me a little bit nervous um and just more con conscious about myself um and i i don't love that shopping experience but i guess I, I totally understand that they may be at higher risk of maybe burglary given that it is a high-end jewelry store with lots of really beautiful pricey beautiful things anyways um looking around the store i want to show you um some of the key collections that i am so so in love with There's a lot of beautifully decorated keys that I think is really a signature for Tiffany. They have a range of materials for and colors of metals and combination with color um, diamonds as well. But yeah, I really love looking at the Tiffany keys. I'm going to browse around a little bit and I'd love for you to join me, but there are a couple items that I'm hoping to have a closer look at while I'm at the store today. In particular, I'm going to look at one necklace and one ring while I'm here. The necklace I'm looking for is an infinity necklace. Now the infinity necklace, it does come in many different versions. Uh, the one I'm looking at is just the basic infinity, which is like a powerful symbol of like continuous connection, energy, and vitality. And I love the, the symbolism behind that. The one I'm looking at is sterling silver. It has like this adjustable 13 to 18 inch chain. Um, if you like, I can produce the product number later on in this video when I have a look at it. It is one of the items that are among the more affordable price range i would say for tiffany i mean there are a lot of necklaces that tiffany has like the keys and these hearts that you probably see very often now here the essay is just showing me my necklace that's been clean it looks so different so different and so shiny i'm so happy about it one thing you should know is that they don't call you when it's done cleaning so you have to make sure to claim it yourself um the essay was just telling me stories that people sometimes forget and like they will leave their diamond ring their diamond like 
maybe even wedding ring in some cases, like for over a year in the store before they remember. But they still keep it in a very secure place, so it's nice to know. But with that said, I got my jewelry clean. I'm gonna just now walk around the store. But those are one of the things, I really like these little things, like how they offer complimentary cleaning um, to help maintain the jewelry. Um, these are one of the little things that I really enjoy that adds to the branding for Tiffany. So there's the necklace, the hearts that you see often. I feel like it's a really good base price item if you're looking to get into the Tiffany brand. Looking around the store, there's a picture of Audrey Hepburn, which is kind of like the symbol of cloth, like sophistication and classiness. I love how I love Audrey Hepburn as a junk in general, so I feel really inspired to see her photo. And um, there's some kind of chunkier bracelets and um, chain collar choker necklace like I, i'm to be honest i'm not really into bulky chains i think i like things a little bit more minimalistic and simple so i don't want to intrude in the staff here too much so i'm just going to show you guys around in the glass case what you can see of course you can ask the sa to look at specific items but since i have an explicit plan to look at one per two particular items i'm just going to focus on that so there's two necklaces here, the infinity necklace and the interlocking circle pendant. So that's the other one. So just want to give you a closer look at how beautiful and delicate that the necklace is. So the infinity one currently is the one that is a little bit on the more affordable range. It's currently priced at $195 Canadian before taxes has adjustable 16 to 18 inch in terms of the chain length now the second one from the 1837 collection is the interlocking circle pendant this one is currently a bit of on the higher range for the price it is currently priced at $585 it I think it's a very classic design um, I want to check this out for myself because I've seen a couple of different brands with similar designs um, but I still really love the Tiffany brand and the service that they provide so I'm debating about this or going uh, checking out some other brands I would love to hear from you if you have other suggestions for good um, quality jewelry to check out but yeah, so they're vastly a little different in price, around like a $400 difference. Do you find that the Infinity one is a little bit more minimalistic? It's very light. Um, and you can see the Infinity is actually, the sign is actually quite small as well, as opposed to, um, I think the interlocking circle is a little bit more casual wear. Uh, but they're both sterling silver. And yeah, I just want to take a few. Take you shopping with me at Tiffany and checking out some of the necklaces that they have available. Again, I think I will look at some other affordable alternatives and I hope to show that to you in future videos. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in jewelry in this channel in general because I find that I talk a lot about handbags um, but I do have other interests and one of them is jewelry so um, let me know if this is something you guys are enjoying as well. So you can see the interlocking rings do have the Tiffany & Co um, kind of engraving on it. Okay, and then the third the third item I want to show you that I'm going to do store to see is actually the V-ring. It's from the Tiffany Solest um, line. Now, I feel like the V-ring has been pretty popular um, in general, not just necessarily like in the Tiffany line. So I want to check out the Tiffany one with diamonds on it and then check out maybe other affordable alternatives. The V-ring does come in different types of material. So I'm going to also check out the different colors. I think it is more of intended for a engagement ring. And we'll have a look at that in a sec once I browse around the store and see what else there is to check out.
So now I'm being brought to a separate area to check out the diamond rings. Um, this one is $3,300 for this 18 karat gold round brilliant diamonds. Has carat total weights around 0.2. It is really shiny. They do sizing for you and they usually have only one product of each kind or of each design and size in the store but you could order it separately if you want and have it shipped to your store. So I just want to show you like how it looks like, the shine on it. It is a very beautiful ring. It looks very delicate and sophisticated. So yeah, it's a very classic simple ring. I'm just looking for some kind of alternative besides like a big solitaire diamond. I, I really like the sparkle on this one. And I think it'll be easy to pair with different types of wardrobes that I'm on. I can wear it casually, I can wear it for a sophisticated evening. And I do that, I, I like how it's not just like a typical round eternity ring it has a little bit of an edge to it makes it look a little bit more interesting so yeah that's a closer look at this point two um total in terms of carrot um, weight uh ring from tiffany and this is the ring so what do you guys think about it do you think it's worth it is it ridiculous to spend three thousand three hundred dollar canadian on a sterling silver Oh, sorry, this one is an 18 karat gold ring with diamonds. Or do you think if you're wearing rings more casually, maybe something alternative like cubic zirconium will be a better alternative? I do want to check out other brands and maybe a similar design and see how it compares. So thank you so much for coming with me to the Tiffany store and checking out what they have in store. Um, I do plan on checking out some more affordable alternatives so look forward to seeing videos on jewelry from other alternatives um that may be options besides tiffany and i think that's it for now i'll see you next time in another video take care and stay safe